So welcome guys to my class. For those who doesn't know me, I am Aggie and today's class is going to be a short 15 minutes uh, fire vinyasa. We're going to focus to create fire within us and physically it's going to help us with our digestive system but also will increase our energy, strength and also our mobility in our spine especially. So I would like to invite you to close your eyes for a moment and just be aware of your breath, of your body. Just be in the present moment. And let's make the intention for today that whenever, whatever thoughts are gonna arise to our mind during this practice, we're going to observe them as the clouds in the sky. We're not going to attach to them. Take a deep breath to your chest and exhale. And during the practice, I will be doing a gentle adjustment. So keep your eyes closed, but if you feel like you don't want to be touched during the class, please raise your hand. And wherever you are, bring your hands to your lap. And with the inhalation, open your eyes. And bring yourself to the all fourth position. We're going to start with the nice child pose. So make sure that your wrists are in the line with the shoulders, your knees in the line with the hips. And reach your hands forward. Put your hips to the heels. Nice, stay in this position, bring your forehead to the floor, relax. And let's try to keep during this practice, how we call it, beautiful state. The state where we feel joy, gratitude, peace. In yoga, this is called sattva. Keep your breath steady. And with the inhalation, we oxygen, we inhale oxygen, and with the exhalation, the carbon dioxide flows out. With the next inhalation, slowly bring yourself up to the all fourth position, open your palms, and we're going to the cat cow. So arch your back, look up, and exhale, navel in, Inhale, look it up, shoulders down, arch your back. And exhale, beautiful. We are articulating our spine. Inhale. And exhale. And now let's make a circles with your spine. So move your spine, move your also neck. Now it's the moment where you can connect with your intuition to feel what your body needs in this present moment. Try to know, don't lead by your ego, but more with your heart, with your intuition. Feel what feels right in this present moment. And let's reverse the circle. Let's do opposite side. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. And with the next inhalation, we're going to our first downward facing dog. So bring your hips up. Try to put your heels to the floor, lengthen your spine, open your palms and gaze between your feet. You can also bend your legs. Just find your own Yes, relax your neck. You can also pedal your, your feet and your shoulders. Opposite shoulders to opposite feet. Just play with this. Find your own alternative, what feels good. You can add your ujjayi breath, if that's in your practice. 
And now on the next inhalation, bring your body forward. We're going to do beautiful transition. And exhale to the down dog. We articulating our spine, vertebra by vertebra. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, beautiful. And on the next inhalation, stay in your plank. So shoulders are above your wrist and slowly bring your knees to the mat and step by step, bring your elbow down. Bring your forehead to the mat and inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down. And inhale, bring yourself to the down dog again. Make sure that your alignments are good. Try to bring your heels to the floor, lengthen your spine. And now bend your legs slightly and step by step, go to the front to your mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, go down. And now vertebra by vertebra, go all the way up, slowly, 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 slowly. And inhale, raise your hands to the sky. Shoulders down, belly button in, tailbone in. And exhale, interlace your fingertips behind your back, open your chest and slowly bend your legs and go all the way down to the forward fold. Mm, and stay here, you can choose your option if you want to have a bent legs or extra stretching with your strengthened legs. With the next inhalation, with controlling, bring your arms to the floor slowly inhale lift halfway through and now bring your left leg to the back of your mat to the lunge beautiful make sure that your ankle uh, is the ankle above the knee and with the exhalation we're gonna strengthen our forward leg exhale toes up inhale and exhale, hips up. Keep your chest close to your knee. Inhale, beautiful. And exhale, hips up. Let's repeat it one more time. Inhale, hips down, strengthen your back leg. And exhale, nice. Now inhale, stay here and swap your hands close to your body. Stay here with the lunge, beautiful. Inhale, go all the way up. Exhale, dive deeper. Yes. Strengthen your hips. Inhale, arch your back. And exhale, come back to your plank. Beautiful sequence, beautiful. Now let's go to our chaturanga. So slowly bring your elbow to the side. Inhale, upward facing dog. And down dog. Stay in this down dog for five breaths in your own pace so hips up make sure that your hips are up relax your neck and feel this beautiful stretch in your hamstring so open your feet a little bit more and now step by step we're gonna go again to the front of our mat inhale lift halfway through Exhale, go down, and again, vertebra by vertebra. Lift your body up together with the arms. And exhale, interlace your finger, lift your chest, and let's go all the way down to the forward fold. We're gonna repeat this sequence to another side. Again, choose your option. You can keep bending your legs, or if you want to have an extra stretch, straight your legs now with the control bring your hands to the floor and bring your right leg to the lunge lift your chest make sure that your knee is over your ankle and again with the exhalation lift strengthen your front leg and exhale to go down beautiful inhale exhale 
Feel this beautiful stretching in your hips. Inhale. Then exhale. And last one. Inhale. Beautiful. With the next inhalation, swap your hands to the side. And inhale. Lift your hands to the sky. And dive deeper. Strengthen your back leg. Yes, exactly. And now arch your back. And let's go back to the Chaturanga. So plank position, elbows in. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your thighs. And exhale, hips up. Beautiful. Catch your breath in this position. Just check with yourself how your body feels right now. Do you have a faster breath? Maybe connect with your Ujjayi breath again. And now bring your he heels on the line with your mat. Open your toes. And this time we're going to go with our arms to the back of our mat. Yes, and we're going to go to our Malasana. So you keep your full feet on the floor. You open your legs. And you keep pushing with your elbows, hands in the prior position. Exactly. You can stay here. Or your option is also going to the happy baby position. I'm going to present it. If the malasana is too much for you, you can stay also here. You have exactly the same stretching, but you are uh, you're not engaging your back. Make sure that here your back is straight, chest up. Feel this beautiful stretch. And bring your left arm up and turn your body to the side. Gaze up. Keep breathing and come back to the prayer pose. And let's go to another side. Lift your hands, turn your torso. Beautiful. And bring your both hands to the mat. And then let's find your own way to the down dog. Hmm. And we're going to do one more time this beautiful transition to articulating our spine to mobilize our vertebra. So we're going to the plank, arch your back, and with the exhalation, go to the down dog. Inhale. Enjoy this move. Feel like your body energized. Inhale and exhale. With the next inhalation, stay in the plank. Bring your elbow in and chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Keep your alignment. Keep your heels down. Strengthen your legs. Lengthen your spine. Relax your neck. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Hmm. Just feel like your body adjusts to this position. Just let the gravitation do all the work for you. And slowly bring your knees to the mat. And lift your hips up. Inhale, lift your arm. We're going to go to our back bend. So make sure that you put your tailbone under. Stabilize your back. You can put your hands upwards and back bend. You can also do the alternative and put your hands to your ankle and stay here. Beautiful. Open your chest, open your heart. Just stay here for a couple of breaths. And 
whenever you're gonna come out from the position, make sure you're supporting your lower back first, and then you go all the way up. Nice, sit down. We're gonna counteract this position with the child pose. So go for a moment to the child position. Raise your hands to the front of your mat, forehead on the floor. Just take a moment to notice how your body feels in this moment. And with the next inhalation, bring yourself again to the all fours, to the plank. We're going to do half of the chaturanga. So bring your elbow down, inhale, upward facing dog. And this time, bring your thighs to the floor. We're going to the wild thing position. Lift your left knee, turn your hips. And with the inhalation, bring your arm to the sky. If that's too much for you, you can always be on your shin and lift your hips as well. Stay here. Feel like your heart is opening. Look at your arm. Yes. Feel strong in this position. And with the exhalation, slowly go down to the upwards facing dog and change. So this time, right heel up, turn your hips to the side, and inhale, lift your body. Look into your arm. Squeeze your glutes, open your chest, gaze up. And exhale, find your way to go to the last child pose. Beautiful. Reach your arms forward, forehead to the mat. Just stay here. Beautiful. Most of the work is already behind us. So, Whenever you are ready, bring yourself to the middle of your mat, face to me. Cross your legs. And now bring your left arm to the side of your mat. Now turn forward. And stretch your side. And come back to the middle and opposite direction. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And down. Beautiful. And now take a deep, big breath and breathe out, hands to the prior. Inhale, lift your hands. And exhale. Namaste. Thank you so much for this practice.